a little 12 bar blues in G. I think some of the things that are different between jamming and the blues style and violin and some of the other ones that we touched on is I think there's going to be a lot more bending going on here. Mm -hmm. When I think about the blues and a blues solo, I try to put myself in the moment of feeling it rather than playing something technical, trying to speak a, mm -hmm. like almost like a vocal melody. So um, there was a lot of bending going on in there. Um, mm -hmm. I can give an ex some examples. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the licks I was playing was this over the G, like something like that, rather than playing... Uh, which would be more the classical or even the jazz sense mm -hmm. of it. Mm -hmm. This is uh, kind of a lazier thing, where it's like. just feeling it out and and bending a lot of the minor thirds into the major thirds and when the chords do change really try to attack those moments where it mm -hmm. goes to the four with some sort of bend that gets you in say if you're if you're going to the four that'd be a c doing a nice bend into an e natural would be something right. that i would uh, try to yeah so if it's moving yeah yeah it's nice No, I, I played a little the second time around. I went up, yeah, strumming on anything. Yep, because I know we're going to touch on some jazz as well. And sometimes jazz, blue jazz, you know, it gets gets out kind of mixed up a little bit. And it's nice, but and I love the old timey feel of that too, though. It almost feels like that old. And I know people they love acoustic blues. Yep. In this sense, I just did an acoustic blues project for uh, guitar control, and it seems like it got a really good response because people want to sit on their front porch and kind of do at-home music, yeah, and, and that really lends itself to, to fiddle and, Absolutely. and this kind of stuff. Um, so if I'm a, if I'm a fledgling uh, fiddlist, yes. <laughs> a fiddler, and I want to, I'm, maybe I've got a little bit of classical background, like a lot of people have, I think have learned to read and whatever, but I want to stretch out, I want to get loose, right? and I want to get lazy and, and messy with my notes and blue and expressive which I think is what the blues is all about. Tell a story. It right. seemed like you were telling a story there. That's what I was trying to do. You know, yeah. kind of, I was feeling like, wow, where's he going with it? And all of a sudden, you know, kind of longing and some, you know, some cool, which is why I think people love the blues. Yeah. It's, it's not in a hurry. To, it's, it's, sometimes it'll stay somewhere and just kind of... Kind of breaks the rules a little bit. You know? Yeah. I, the rules, I, you know? I'm not sure if you're familiar with uh, Colonel Bruce Hampton. Um, no, I don't know. He had a band called Aquarium Rescue Unit, which uh, oh, yeah, founded a yeah. bunch of incredible musicians like yeah. O'Teal Burbridge and Jimmy yeah. Herring and Kofi yeah. Burbridge. Yeah, yeah. And all of the guys that he would hire on his gigs would be these virtuosos on their instrument. And then he would have them what he called unlearning. Ah. And you forget everything that you ever learned. Wow. And Dummy it down. And then go back in with just that feeling. Mm -hmm. You have that knowledge inside you. Once right. you learn your instrument, you've got that right. knowledge. You know, right. we, you know, you spend time on this DVD, and you know your.